Hi there, my name is Ove Bosch. I'm product specialist and clinician for Warwick, and I'm here with a Starbase 2 in the Bubinga version. I'll show you both, the fretted and the fretless one. The Starbase 2 is a modern version of the Framus Starbase, which was originally released in the early 50s. Top and back of this base are made from laminated Bubinga pomele. The sides are also made from Bubinga, but they're solid. For connecting the top, side and back, Warwick uses an in-house invented system. This prevents the sides from coming loose and starting to rattle. The back and top of the Starbase are elegantly curved, as you can see here. And the center block, which runs through the middle, is CNC routed to fit the radius perfectly. You can find a beautiful cream binding on both the front and the back. The three-piece of Uncle neck is set into the center block. And as you can see, the security lock is mounted into the heel. This one holds a strap with or even without the included locking attachments. The fretless version comes, as you might have expected, with a tiger stripe ebony fingerboard. The side dots are fluorescent, they glow in the dark. The fretted star base comes with a Wenji fingerboard. The 21 frets are installed by using Warwick's unique invisible fret technology. This is to give the neck more stability by not cutting the fretboard all the way through. Also, you have a very nice smooth surface on the edge of the fretboard. Also, you can see another available finish option on this base. This is natural high polish, which has a magnifying effect on the wood's grain. Warwick's unique UV lacquer is water-based, is applied ultra-thin, which makes it very shiny, and it's very hard. And the high polish finish extends all the way up over the neck and the headstock. The huge pickups of the Starbase are passive MEC single coils with a very old school look. They have open and adjustable pole pieces. The passive MEC electronic circuit contains four controls, volume and tone for each pickup. With a toggle switch, you can select to either use the neck only, both or the bridge pickup only. Even with the passive electronics, the Starbase delivers a variety of different sounds. To give you an idea, I play the same example with different sound settings, starting with my favorite one. Back on the fretless, let's have a look on Warwick's trademark headstock. 
Here you can find the four comfortably angled tuners, the easy access truss rod cover, and the Justinet 3. It allows you to easily adjust the action by only using these two screws. As usual on Warwick basis, you can find the two-piece bridge system. The tailpiece is lowered into the center block for better transfer of the string vibration. The bridge itself can be adjusted in all three dimensions and you can adjust the overall string height with these four screws and lock it in position. Starting in 2013, the bridge is made from the same material as the Justinet 3. It is CNC routed from a solid block of bell brass. The Starbase 2 Bubinga comes as right or left handed, fretted or fretless and as a 4 or 5 string. You can choose a natural satin or a high polish finish. Each base is perfectly set up with Warwick's EMP strings, which are made from stainless steel and have a special molecular coating which grants them a longer playing life. After setup, each base is packed into a flight case, which includes a velvet protector that helps to preserve the finish. Inside, there is also a user kit, which includes everything you need to care for your base, as well as a certificate of authenticity, which is signed by Warwick's founder Hans-Peter Wilfer and guarantees that your base was handcrafted here in Germany. On the environmental field, Warwick sets new standards in the music industry. It is the first company that produces all instruments in carbon neutral production facilities. To me the Starbase 2 is a perfect symbiosis between this vintage kind of look and feel and the advantages of most modern craftsmanship.